soap. Why don't it soap? I'll show you why. If you got a piece of that PVC pipe, it's best to stick over it. Love the hard plastic. So he's wondering why it won't soap. So he just sticks the hose in there. See, you can see the hose it has come back up because it's hose that will do that. So what you want to do is, is stick something heavy on it. Or you want to, the best thing I like to do is take a piece of this PVC pipe right here and just shove it down through that pipe. And what you can actually do is, is just put you a threaded pipe down in there and through here. Put your threaded pipe down in here and then that slides down in through there and then that way it will hold it to the bottom. Here, pull it up and do it again. You know, you're gonna have to stick it down in there first. I don't know what you're trying to do. Just sneak it through here. Yeah, but that ain't gonna go down through there and you're gonna just throw it down, in, throw there. It down in there. Yeah, that might work. Is that good enough? Is that don't see it. It's floating. What else we got in here? You don't have no half inch PVC anywhere? Don't see it. I tell you what else, you got a zip tie? You got any zip ties? Uh, not that I know of. I was gonna tell you, you could take a yard sign and then take the metal and then just zip tie it to it. You don't have a zip tie or a piece of rope or something like that, a piece of metal to tie it to? Let's see. Did you find something? Yes. I don't think that's gonna go around it. You got some bungee cords, since you're probably gonna need something to go. Here's one right here. This is all about pressure washing. Adapt and overcome. It's 100 degrees outside. <laughs> Those are real frustrating. And that is just means you gotta adapt and overcome that too. You can't let those days get you down, right? Yeah, it's wanting to float. If you shove it on in there, will it keep going or no? Oh yeah, it's wanting to float big time. I mean, I've tied wrenches to them before. You got an old downstream injector or something that's heavy? Well, I cleaned our, we have not actually cleaned it out. Cleaned out your van? Yeah, I actually did that. This is the beauty of doing house washing. It's that old, it's that brand new hose where it's got that new memory of. See, normally what I do is I would do this right here mm -hmm. with a piece of pipe PVC this long that would go there and go all the way to the bottom of the tank and then just shove that hose right down in there. Yeah, that's what I did for my roof work system. Yeah, something, that, yep, exactly. Right, that's to the... Right, to that. Well, take that piece of pipe and take a zip around that piece of pipe and that will hold that down in there. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's... No, you don't have to cut it. Oh, okay. Just shove this down in there. Tie, tie that on there and then just shove this down in there. Will that go down in there? Yeah, the bucket's got it stuck. And then take that bungee cord and go around it. Or yeah, just like that. Might even work. Just and then shove that all the way down in there as long as that'll stay down in there. <laughs> we may not make three hundred dollars an hour. There, that is at the bottom. We're yeah, good to it's go. at the bottom and it'll stay there. Hand burns like hell. <laughs> that means it's good bleach. That's right. <laughs> That's That's right. right. <laughs> that means it's like really good bleach. And the other thing is you want to get that stuff off of you. So make sure it's good to have a dump pose to get that off of you. And he does. Because you don't want that bleach on you. That's another, this has been another video brought to you by Jason of a, having a brand new rig.